Expect all of this to begin later today and also tonight. So we're going to break this apart, make it nice and easy for everyone to take in. First up is the Southern Plains and then we'll head on to the Midwest and then of course go up to the Northeast. So for the Southern Plains, pretty tricky here because we have a couple things that are going to impact how much snow and ice we do pick up. A lot of that is going to be some dry air that's going to be sucked into the middle of this system that could actually lower some of the snowfall totals. But with that said, we are going to see winter impacts here. We have winter weather advisories highlighted in blue from the Colorado Front Range into the Texas Panhandle. Winter storm watches out as far south as almost San Antonio. It's knocking on the door there and highlighted in purple is where we have our winter storm warning. All this is for tonight leading through Friday morning. So here's a look at the evolution for this morning. We could see some rain in southeast Texas. That's really just the beginning as we start to see that cold air sink in from the north. By 9 o'clock tonight, we'll start to see snow develop in Wichita. Look at that thin line of pink. That's the icing concern from Kansas into Missouri. At the beginning of the event later tonight, we're going to start things off with rain in Oklahoma City, but places like Oklahoma City and also uh, stretching down towards Dallas, that's where we could see a combination of rain, ice, and even snow. Let's get you over to Stephen Morgan. Stephen, you're going to be talking about what's happening in the Ohio Valley. Yes, and those winter weather alerts extend into the Ohio Valley. In fact, we have winter storm warnings in Missouri and Illinois on into uh, Chicago. Actually, Britta, the map that's uh, just behind you, and that's what we're taking here full screen. Those watches, though, go all the way up into interior portions of the Northeast. So quite a significant storm that's going to be unfolding over the next 12 to 24 hours, and it will be lasting through, you see that, Friday morning. So it's going to be a prolonged event. So let's look at future track because as we time this storm out, nothing really to show early this morning except for maybe some light showers. There's a front that's going to be moving on through and as that front does so, it's going to be slow to move through, but it's going to initially be rain from Joplin through Rolla right on along that I-44 corridor and then we'll see that rain spread into Indianapolis, eventually Michigan and Ohio. But as we head into the evening tonight and overnight hours, that's when the transition will really begin to occur through central Missouri. We'll see that transition in southern Iowa Iowa, northern Missouri on into northern Illinois a little earlier and Kansas City as well. So if we see this transition happen earlier, then that means more snow. If the transition from rain to sleet and freezing rain eventually to snow happens later, then we're going to see more snow. So let's continue to watch this because the moisture will be plentiful. Plenty of moisture from the Pacific. Also, the Gulf of Mexico will be at play Wednesday evening. We see that snow continuing from Detroit down through close to St. Louis into Springfield, Missouri, Springfield, Illinois. And then by Thursday, that's when the system will eventually begin to exit. And we could see again some heavy snow over areas that on Wednesday saw that snow. Meanwhile, in Nashville down to Danville, Charleston, West Virginia, it's all rain. Eventually by Thursday evening, this storm will begin to taper off and we'll see finally some drier air and some colder air working on in. And then by Friday, it's long gone. The question is how much? This is the ice threat that we have for that glaze of ice, which is about a tenth of an inch or less, very likely, mainly south of I-70 and I-44 in Missouri. How about disruptive ice? That's going to be confined to extreme southern Illinois and southeastern Missouri, but we could also see that ice accretion south of Indianapolis, even into Columbus, Ohio, and as far south as Arkansas, potentially even Oklahoma. We have to watch it. So how about that snow? Well, that's the big question because if that transition to all snow happens, then we will see plenty of it. And it's not out of the realm of possibility that some places in Missouri into Illinois could pick up over a foot of snow before this is all said and done. But look at the Windy City. While we could maybe see 8 to 12 inches there in Chicago, a little farther to the north and west, say Rockford, not as much. Same story for St. Louis. Springfield, Illinois, we could maybe see around a foot, potentially more. If that transition's a little slower, well, then we'll see less snow. If the transition happens quicker and if there's more cold air to work with, well, then we will see a lot more. Regardless, 
a big swath of the Ohio Valley and the Midwest could see around 6 to 12 inches of snow. Taking a closer look at Indianapolis, we're going to start off as rain. This is Wednesday morning, and then that transition will eventually begin and occur. Indianapolis will see that transition happen Wednesday evening, and then eventually that will become snow on Thursday. One of many cities that will see the rain to freezing rain and sleet, Jason, and then eventually to snow. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.